My name is CK, or that's what I go by. I am 26 years old. I was drawing ever since I was a little kid and finally got serious about it in high school. And I chose the artist's name Icarus Mass based on a mythological story of Icarus that I quite enjoyed at the time and still enjoy. And the fact that I just like masks, which is apparent if you know me. Um, I took a lot of basic courses that were introductory, got an associates in arts, got out debt free, and ever since then I have been self-taught. When illustrating, my biggest inspirations are from a lot of different artists. It's kind of really hard to pull from a photograph sometimes, so I'll actually just use Google Images and type up like a forest painting and then certain artists might pop up so I'll like look at their stuff to like pull and figure out how they do things and stuff like that while I draw. I pull from books occasionally from dead artists. Uh, Google Images I constantly use to look up tutorials and just anything I can get my hands on. Illustrations I pull from the most, like not even manga or anything, it's mainly from like how other people draw and how they paint so I can paint my backgrounds and also like learn for illustration purposes as well. Uh, I would describe my art style as inconsistent as I have never really stuck to a single style. If you read my comic name pending, that is very apparent. I did ask a friend recently of what they would call my art style and I think they were referring to Wish mainly, which was semi-realism, where I am going for realistic anatomy and not being quite 100%. I still need to learn how clothing is drawn. I still don't know how to do clothing properly, especially at the elbows, how do. And so it's just, I'm constantly learning. So I think that's why my style is constantly changing and I haven't really settled into anything right now. I think the biggest challenge is getting from sketching to a finished project. So I do, I'm mainly a sketch artist in my mind. So I am constantly just sketching my ideas and never really going further than that because I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanted. And then I toss my book away and it's never revisited, mainly because I don't have that drive. And for a lot of people, I think that's pretty common. And I feel like a lot of artists kind of deal with that where you think you're doing a lot, but you're not. And it's just piling up and you haven't finished anything. So that's the biggest struggle for me. Another thing I suffer from is easily bored if I'm not interested anymore. So I have to get it done within half a day or that bitch ain't gonna get done at all. I am so sorry, I cursed right there. But that's how I feel. To becoming a webcomic artist, I will first give you the generic advice you hear from everyone that is super true. Do what you love and what story you are passionate about. It's not really about the readers, it's about you getting your story out there and hoping someone will read it, right? So you need to do what you're passionate about. On the more technical side of things, don't wait till you know how to do everything because that's gonna take your life. You need to start now. If you have an idea and you already have like the first 10 pages in your brain, just start. No one's stopping you but yourself. Start writing and practice as you go. I've been constantly hitting roadblocks with my comic where I'm like, oh dang, I don't know how to draw a bow and arrow. Well, let's go look at some Olympic bow and arrowing and see how they stand and stuff like that. So then I'll just open a new document or open my sketchbook and then I'll sketch practice it right there. And if you have a buffer, you'll have more time to work on each page and try to keep that buffer at the same number of pages. Like a lot of artists do that. It's a very good idea. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your wrists help because the last thing you want to do is rushing five pages for a deadline that you thought you could keep, but you're kind of pushing yourself. Know your limits, please. There's no secret. The secret is practice and start now. Like stop putting this off. If your hand is damaged though, put it off a little longer. But honestly, you need to start at some point. So why not today? Start uploading. Where are you? I'm on a tangent.